this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, another floral design on this green gloss bottle using three magic paint brushes. Once again, I'm using the same sizes that I used before. A number 14, a 12, and a 10. And the Westonia fine liner. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take the number 16 I'm going to load one side into the tea berry, one side into the few, and then I'm going to begin to paint. All right, so here we go. All right, going to turn my bottle this direction. I'm going to do a few little buds up at the top, and just so that I don't forget to mention it, I have already cleaned the bottle. I cleaned it with soap and water and rubbing alcohol. This is the... It's all ready to go. All right, so I'm just pushing down and wiggling. Just pushing down, wiggle my brush. If you do, do this and you feel like your design needs another coat, feel free to go over it. You can either give it some dry time or you can hit it with a hairdryer heat gun whatever. All right, so I'm going to go like this. Just do some ruffles. Come back over here. I'm just kind of overlapping my petals as I go. Again, coming up, down, up, down. Flip my brush. Get a little more white in here. Flip my brush and I'm going to come back up and I'm pushing down on my brush when I'm coming up into the previous set of petals and coming down like that. Then I'm going to do a couple open ones. So we'll have pushing down, pushing down. And I didn't do this one right. Okay, I'm pushing down, I'm going to come back up and then come out here a little bit. You can do it either way. I mean, it can just be a straight in the ruffle or you can do the, the little bump outs, I guess. And they don't all have to be the same size either. However you do them is fine. Let me go back over this one again. Like that you can either just touch it up or paint over it again. It happens when you're trying to wiggle up and do these, sorry forget what I'm doing. When you're trying to wiggle these, sometimes it can actually pull the paint up. So you have to look at that in either direction, depending on what's comfortable for you, because you have to keep in mind, I am a lefty. So if the direction I'm headed doesn't feel natural to you, it could be that it's I'm doing it a different direction than what you would need to start with. Meaning, um, just use the other, or you go the opposite direction. So I go going for you. And I feel like I said, you get spots that just touch them. Touch them up a little bit. Not a biggie. I'm going to do one more. And you can do the light coming up at the, the top part of the flower or the bottom. Doesn't matter. If you want to look light source and what would actually truly happen you can more than welcome to do that I'm not con too concerned with that I'm just showing mainly concerned about showing you the design itself if that makes sense this is not a bottle I'm going to be selling so I'm just really into showing you how to do it Okay, so I'm just doing light wiggles, and I'll come down here. And I can just, one thing nice about a bottle is that it's flexible and you can actually turn it whichever direction you'd need to in order to get the design to look the way you want it. Okay, and then we're going to put just a couple little buds down here. You can make them smaller if you want. You can use different size brushes. 
I just try to limit the brushes that I'm using so that you don't have to buy you know 20 different sizes in order to complete the design. Liner. Start putting in some greenery. So I just touch it into the colors that I'm using, roll it out just to get some of the paint off of it. And then I can even tip it in if I want, if I need like maybe more of the lighter green or the darker green based on whatever I'm creating at the time. And with these, I'm just going to use this brush just to create what it attaches the flower to the stem. Use the different colors of green. I like to come down a little bit onto the stem itself. I mean, if you want to use your flat brush, you certainly can. I can do my flat brush with any of these designs. That's actually one I use a lot. Okay, so we have those. And then we'll do this one since it's flipped up. I'm going to come in here and just kind of pull it along. Make it a little bit wider probably than maybe than what I did on the other ones. But you can actually go clear up there if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do exactly what I'm showing you here. All right, and then let's turn this. Kind of do the same thing. And they don't have to be any particular size as far as going up the stem itself or where you hit. And if you want to go clear up it, you can. Pretty easy. I like to create designs that designs, right? Yes, I think. All right. And then we're going to make it like this one's attached. Just a little. Doesn't really matter. All right. So I'm going to take my brush. Because I can, of course, have some other things added here besides just the flowers that I've already painted. And I'll just maybe swoop it around, give it a little bit of a... You know, it's not exactly a straight line. And, of course, with doing the, the bottle... You know, space wise available so that's something to consider as well I don't have as much available space wise as I do on my on my regular um, paper that I do all right so this part I'm going to on the number 12 dip one side into the happy ticket a little bit of white kind of go back and forth and I will just keep adding paint as I go along. Now let me think here. I'm going to do this. And these are just very simple, pulling towards the stem. And you can keep, like I said, rotating your colors if you And like I said, on these, I like them to be I don't like them all to be the same, the same length. I can turn it to have a different look because depending on which way you have your brush as to which way uh, the paint, you know, which paint shows up more. And that makes sense, I hope.
I have this figure out another one to put this very similar design on. And I don't want it to be, let's do it down here. I don't want it to be where it's, maybe we'll start it down that low, but kind of balance it out a little bit. And see, so I can turn it this way to get more of the white, the lighter side of the design. And just turn it out like that. Oops. Pulled some of my pink off my flower, which as you know, that can happen. And then we'll go this way. I like some of the green to show the happy green. We'll just keep going. If you have any questions watching this, please just uh, put your questions or comments down below. I would appreciate it. Like I said, you can just take a look at, see if you need to go back over any of them. I'm going to leave them as it is. I think they're fine. All right, so I've got two of those. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take the number 10. And I can dip it into white if I want as I'm doing it. I just, I don't want it to be like a, a definite separated color scheme like I would just be doing a one stroke type design trying to make it look a little different although it doesn't look that different right at the moment right but you can always go back over it if you want or if you think maybe even the pink looks better in there or if you want to do pink and white you can do both is kind of creating a little bit of, and they don't all have to be touched upon or you can up to you all right so we're just going to keep doing this over the top of the flowers leave them like i i call them ghost leaves where they just have one coat or one kind of paint, one color of paint in them. That's what I like to call them. Shadow leaves or ghost leaves. Maybe add a little bit of the tea berry in them. Yeah, I picked up some of that, pulled out some of the paint there. I just have to be very careful not to do that again. All right, so then we'll just, um, let's see, did I do all of them? I thought I had more. Did I miss it? Okay, just a couple here. I pulled that up. Okay, maybe put one down in here. Like that. And if you want to add uh, more, you can. And I did when I did the little poles that I put on here, like that, over, over and up. Pulled up some of the color there. Not nice. I'll just gonna do a little bit of the darker, just to kind of do some contrast here, and then come back here and do the same thing. All right, we're almost done, guys. Thanks for sticking with me here. Yep. 
I think I like that. All right, so then I'm just gonna take the the bottom of this one and stick, do a little circle, little dot for the center of this flower. Just doing easy centers today. I'm just kind of tapping around here just to get a bigger, a little bit bigger center. Then I'm going to take the brush. Now you can either use a yellow ochre, but I chose to use the white just for the mere fact that I think it stands out a little bit more. But just kind of tap just to give it just a little bit of character. Beans. And there you have it. Now like around these, you could use this brush, just little stamens through there, but I'm not going to do that on this one. All right, I think we're done. I hope you like this. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, if you would hit the share button underneath the video, share this video on your social network with all your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.